As more and more freshers arrive, we're slowly arriving at a puddle of those in search. In search for friendship, activity, and of course, those all-time low-value foods. But from amongst all those unknowers, there must arise a leader. Somebody who knows, somebody who sets the style, who trailblazes. Join Forge TV as we go in search of the freshest fresher. I'm joined by the notorious Glitter Gang. You are just emanating glitter. What is your glittery name? Glittery name. Stardust. Stardust. Special. It's the end of Freshers 2012. It's safe to say that it has been above and maybe even beyond expectations. In fact, it's been in a whole different hemisphere, out of this world. And what better way to capture it than heading into space? Right, so I'm here with Megan on the uh, Dench bench. So I'm here with Emmy and we're about to see how cool she really is. Hello there, this is Alex and this is me and we're standing very close to each other. Hey Ian, and the reason I say hey is because we're sitting on a hay bill. Right, I'm here with Jordan and uh, to be honest with you, she's already on fire so I don't want to um, extinguish her. We're about to find out whether Sheffield is made of sugar spice and everything nice. You could even just say go out and have a laugh and then call it yo lol. How did it feel to be the icing on the cake of this big fat chocolate freshest cake? Shine bright like a diamond. Whoa, this is unparalleled. Right, before Glitter came on your life, yeah. you were just a man who was sad, who was depressed, who didn't have anything about it. Then show me the transformation when that Glitter fell down on you. Obviously these are quite young people, you know, very naive, fresh to the world. Did it bring back any experiences when you guys were, you know, young whippersnappers? If the Glitter Fairy landed right here, right now, what would your first words to her be? Will you come home with me? Or like decorate my bedroom in glitter? Decorate my bed in glitter, yeah. What, why specifically your bed? What about your rug, your lamp, your books? So I want her in my bed. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? Now, what up, Sheffield? Now, I like the university. I think it's nice. It's tidy. It's safe. Sometimes I feel that you ain't got nothing. I feel like... You ain't got flash. I feel like you ain't got that. That mm. So I'm about to give you a first class education. Yeah, how to be this Fred fed Ted bread and Ted fed Fred bread. Pretty good, but I'd like you to do it a little bit faster. <laughs> Could you uh, turn up the spin on the machine? Can you fry chicken with your eye? I thought, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I'm, I'm talking to a, I'm not actually talking to the union shop, I'm actually, I'm talking as if I'm talking to another person. Oh, right, uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't know if that was, yeah, just me. On the card, she's lesbian. You're well on your way to securing a date, my friend. What would you say to all of the other doormats out there who are currently being trampled 24-7? Don't take it, don't take it. Live your life, live your life. Would, would you like to uh, point at the camera and say that, oh wait, you can't. The Glitter Fairy's powers to bring out the shine anywhere you want it to shine. I want tonight to shine. This night has got to be a great night. And with that cliche statement, we release this man into space. I'm standing with Brian Jin. My brother's fat, this boy is so thin. Yeah, this is a bucket I'm in. Yes, yeah, I'm so cool, I'm a sin. Oh, and there's people walking in. And I'm like, hi, yo, you the apple of my eye. Fruit is good for the education. We are with Boys TV Station. Throwing people in the deep end, roll deep, fresh of 2012. Peace. At what point did you shave the middle of your eyebrows? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I, um... Like, my I'd really like to know that. My response to that would be the exact same time that you shaved the whole of your head. Yeah.